give a little bit of beans here. Yeah, it's got some good power. I mean, you gotta rev it up a little bit, but it does, does go, it's got some good power. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today we're gonna get to go and go out and get a first impression of this 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Now, as you know, I guess I've done a video on the previous generation Nissan Frontier. This is the first time I'm gonna get behind the wheel of this third generation. Now, this one we have with us here is a Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, which is basically much the fully loaded model. Well, not the fully loaded, but pretty much a good loaded model with this built-in off-road suspension. We got 17-inch wheels with 265 millimeter uh, off-road tires. So we got the side rails here, as you can see. Really cool the way this Nissan is. Really, really love the wheels. You can see we got some LED lighting, LED fog lights all around it. Really cool how the new design of this Frontier is. I love the Nissan new logo, which is really nice. Walking around this one here. I really like what Nissan has done. Much a better design, and obviously the Nissan Frontier really needed an update because the last generation was about, what, 12, 13 years, the way it was. And this is not a full ground up redesign, but this is a still a pretty cool looking Nissan. This one that we have here is finished off in a cardinal red, which is a really nice color. It's kind of like a cherry red. I mean, I'm a fanatic of red colors, but this one, it does really well. It's a really nice color to this Nissan. Kind of goes well with its accents. You can see, I really love those wheels. The rims look really cool. Really nice the way this one is done. This one's of course a crew cab. You can get this in a five foot or a six foot bed or a king cab, which makes it kind of a, looks an extended cab, but back. it's really cool. Really nice style. And we have LED tailors here in the back. As you can see, those light up really nice. We got body color bumpers. We got over here, part of the Nissan logo here as well. This one's got a tonneau cover in the top and we got a five foot bed here, which has a soft opening door there. As you can See, we do have a house connection there, a 400 watt bolt there. Really nice, not bad at all in terms of space and plenty of space. We got a rear window there as well. We got the Nissan logo here in the back and we have already a tow hitch ready to go. This tows about 5,500 pounds of towing capacity and you can put about 1,500 pounds of bed load capacity of payload capacity in this bed. So you can see the Pro 4X logo there on the Nissan. Really cool, I really like what this is done. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the inside. So here in the, in the interior, we got a really nice cloth uh, interior. We had a bit of a red stitching, which is called the Lava Red, which is really cool. I'm not gonna get inside, it's a little bit cramped inside here, but we do have some USB connections, a house connection there as well. And as you can see, I love, really love this. This, uh, this cloth feels really nice and leather. We can put the seat down as well, or we can put them up as well. As you can see here, you can love this flap. Have plenty of space and more storage room in there on the bottom. Really nice, I really like this uh, back of this interior. Really cool, and Nissan has done a little bit of that red stitching and soft leather on the armrest there, as you can see. So it's pretty cool interior nonetheless. Let's go ahead, guys, and go inside. Now, of course, here in the side, we have that Nissan step. This is an $800 uh, option here from Nissan. This is kind of like a uh, side step, but it also basically kind of like a rock slider, which looks really and, nice. Uh, check so out the interior. As you can see, guys, we have power windows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, leather here for the uh, elbow rest. We got a little bit soft touch here as well. I'm surprised this is all kind of soft touch, really nice materials. We got a bit of an orange accent there, that lava accent, which is really nice. We got a big cup holder there. Coming into the interior, guys, really love the leather steering wheel with the red orange stitching. We got the orange stitching also, all the orange accents on the Nissan logo. Coming down here, guys, the seats are fantastic. I love this cloth. This kind of pattern is really cool. We got the Pro Pro, the Pro X4X embroidered on the seats, which is really awesome feature. Uh, over here, guys, we got all kinds of just, you know, tow, all the kinds of buttons for your sensors, traction control, lights, uh, hill descent, since this is equipped with the uh, off-road package. Now, of course, you got the built-in suspension on this girl. So you got a good capability to off-road. And of course, we got a uh, downhill assist as well. We got all kinds of things, tow modes and all that kind of stuff you can do. So let's go ahead, guys, and uh, jump inside. All right, so we're inside of this Nissan Frontier's new interior, which I really like it much, much improved since the last generation, much, much modern and all that stuff. Before we close the door, guys, let's go ahead and hear this 3.8 liter V6. It sounds pretty good, to be honest. So really nice 3.8 liter V6 engine. 
So guys, coming here to the interior, I really like this interior much, much better than the last one. If you guys didn't see that, I did the review, with, as I mentioned, a review of the second generation Nissan. So if you guys wanna browse my channel and take a look at that review, go ahead. But I really like this interior. Of course, it's a much higher trim than the other one I drove, but this is really nice what Nissan has done. So I really like to see a really nice kind of a leather finish here with that orange stitching. We got the AC outlets. We got a little bit of uh, storage here on the top. Uh, really nice what it has done. We have the glove box right there, which is a pretty decent size. You can see we got that orange since there, as you can see on the door, which really looks that's along with the, all the stitching of the seats and all that's really really cool what's hidden in here so coming here to the center screen this is a nine inch touch screen this is nissan's connect system this is basically a really nice uh system that we have as you can see we're going to put audio we got menu all kinds of things you can do we do have navigation we got apple uh, apple carplay android auto we do have as i mentioned up we have audio we got sunlight radio all kinds of things you can do guys really cool i mean it's really nice we got a camera as well we got a reverse camera as you can see that we got your really nice as well we got a 360 view camera as you can see as well there the camera graphics is not that great but it's, it's kind of a bit distorted but at least you got a backup camera with directory lines which is not bad at all if we're going we have to leave that off going back to audio we have a, a six speaker radio if i'm correct and as you can hear it's got a pretty good sound system it's a pretty good system and it's bad to the bone, as I may say. <laughs> but a really good system. You can also do, uh, you can option off a Fender, like a 12 or 10 speaker system as well. You can also option off a sunroof on this one, but this one does not have it. Up here, we have basically a sunroof, uh, sunglass holder. We got some lights here, as you can see. You got the SOS button is here as well. And a little button here for your lights. Those on AC, your hazards. We got seat heaters as well. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, parking sensors off, USB connections, or USB ports. Another little bit of place to put things are down there. We got cup holders. We got your nine speed automatic transmission you have a wireless charging uh, pad here which my phone is charging we have a little more storage space here with another 12 volt connection there and as mentioned over here guys we got some more stuff here for lights and tow all that stuff and we got down here if we go look we have various modes here for driver assistance most settings electric speedometer off-road settings there all kinds of information you can do and as you can see this one's got 18,343 miles so it's pretty good to look at it as a used car this is a pretty good to buy i mean it's pretty much brand new there is no wear and tear on this at all as you can see it was well taken care of so as a used car this is a pretty good uh buy from correct it's a quick reliable truck and it's got the capability to go off road with this pro 4x package so really nice guys with the steering wheel feels fantastic in your hand from leather covered steering with some orange stitching as well i really like it really like what this uh how this nissan feels me adjust my ac outlets here for you guys so you have a little more cooling it's really nice i really like what the way the nissan feels much much better than the old one i like the, the way it's finished everything else i like the black headliners that won't get done really awesome the way this is so we also got a little rear window there as well and uh but there we go guys this is a 2022 nissan the third generation nissan for it really hasn't really any changes to 2024 reason i think nissan they come up with some cool graphics and cool uh models for the 2024 year as we're gonna see but this is a pretty cool it's the first time i'm gonna get behind the wheel of this third gen uh, let's put check out our reverse camera as you can see guys as i mentioned we're right be behind the, the thing so the trajectory lines are pretty cool and we do have some sensors as well let's go ahead and go and head out and do a quick test drive of this nissan so as you guys know we have a 3.8 liter 310 horsepower engine this is a normally or sport non naturally aspirated v6 310 horsepower 281 pound feet of torque so obviously this is an old obviously the engine was it's not new for this generation as this engine was used in the last year of the second gen nissan uh, nissan frontier for 2021 this is being a 2022 model this is the first year of this new third gen really much improved i really like it it feels nice and this is a really well put together truck i can feel it the quality is definitely much much better uh, on this nissan um but yeah this is cool let this guy go in this kind of oldish f-150 is quite a guys and head out so as you can see yeah this is a really nice feeling truck nice sounding v6 i really like the way this feels and i'm gonna go out this way and get a quick test drive yeah, this thing feels really nice. It's really nice. Everything, all the ergonomics and everything are right at home. This job that Nissan did. Much, much improved. Of course, this is a higher-end model. There's going to be much more amenities and really nice and cool. The graphics, the stitching, all that really works. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how this Nissan V6 does. And I'll let this F-150 go by. Super smooth transmission so far. Wow, I didn't even feel the shifts. And they got plenty of power. I mean, you gotta rip the uh, you gotta rip this V6 out a little bit, but it's very smooth though. If you can hear a little bit, once you rev it up, you kind of gets a little bit throaty. But other than that, we're doing about 16. This thing feels pretty solid so far. It's a little bit windy today. 
I lit some of that uh, Canadian smoke has cleared up because it was really, really hazy with that Canadian. We had some Canadian uh, uh, smoke from the fires up there all the way down here to Florida. So it was this, this past day and a half has been orangey and really apocalyptic looking like. But uh, this, is, this is, yeah, it's cleared up now a little bit, so which I'm glad it has. But guys, inside this Nissan Frontier, really much improved. I really like the way this feels. Pretty direct steering feel. Wow, this is it's obviously it's got some some rocking side by side, but this is not a, a sports car, but it's it's tuned for off-road. But wow, this thing feels really nice. It feels refined to be honest. We're doing about 65. And this thing is just obviously we got some wind noise, but other than that, there's no tire noise. Engine's quiet, the suspension is really not doing a nice job of soaking up the bumps. Wow, very impressed with this Nissan. Now I have driven the Toyota Tacoma as well, which is his biggest competition. You got the Tacoma, you got also the, uh, of course, we have nothing from Honda. Well, you can say the Ridge Line is a little bit of competition to this, but nothing. Well, you can see at the Ridge Line, yeah, the ones for uh, what's it called, the Auro, the Crossroads from Nissan, from Toyota. But your biggest competition is the Chevy Colorado, the GMC Canyon, of course, the Tacoma. Those are your biggest rivals to this mid sized pickup truck. But I really like it. this thing, it's nice. I like the way it rides, the way it feels. Very comfortable, easy to, easy to drive, to be honest. And it turns out really nice. Yeah, you can tell it's a slight weight, and we gave it a little bit of beans here. Yeah, it's got some good power. I mean, you gotta rev it up a little bit, but it does, does go. It's got some good power. Wow, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this thing tracks well as well. I mean, the, the thing does not feel like all over or bouncy. The suspension is quite well put down. I mean, it's, it sits on, on the on the road. Yeah, this feel right. It's really nice. This is a great daily as well. If you're going to do some light off-roading. Here in Florida, unfortunately, I don't have anywhere here to take it in any way off-road. It'll be just grass, but uh, nothing really crazy. There might be something up where I live in the city of Claremont, but uh, this, is, this is pretty nice, though. It strikes well, though very nice that the ride is very comfortable um, it's not floaty by any means at all it's got the perfect uh, oh no way god darn it this 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 ah uh, this florida drivers they see you coming at 60 and they just get in front of you uh, this, it's like you know if you see my one of my good followers is autoblog he tested that mustang recently and that guy just pulled in front of him i can't believe it same to this guy they see you coming with i have my headlights on and these people don't care they just go out and think you're doing 20. but well well i'm not gonna okay this is just florida drivers what can you do that's why insurance rates are super high but yeah uh, overall guys going back to the nissan this is really nice how this truck is behaving the way it feels it's put solid it's put together it's pretty much a new truck i mean it's, it's a little over a year old it's gonna be almost two if we go into 2024 but it does feel fantastic though uh well put together there's no rattles there's nothing that feels solid i'm pretty much impressed with this nissan i'll be honest it does feel a little bit better than the tacoma i drove uh, recently not too long ago but yeah this is nice that engine has some good torque once you get up to over above 3000 and it feels like it doesn't feel heavy at all handles good wow yes definitely a truck i would consider this is really nice uh very impressed with this nissan frontier but let me know guys if you are like guys uh, if you are liking this type of contact this pov driving please let me know guys leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, hit the like button as well guys i pretty appreciate it. it really helps out our channels uh but yeah excellent excellent the way this nissan feels now there's a little bump here see how that feels we're going a bit of speed yeah it felt a little bit bouncy there but obviously that's a big bump uh but it does feel nice i mean this thing goes over bumps pretty nicely in this off-road suspension uh all right guys there let me get this one here we're gonna stop and uh all right let me know what you guys think of this nissan frontier as a used car as a used truck well if you could if you find someone something like this in a good shape i would highly recommend something like this this is very nice good power plenty of power capabilities with this truck i'm sure uh this thing's got oh, let's go i'm gonna get in front of this guy too but if you step on it a little bit but i really like it it's got some good power and it gets up to 60 pretty decent i'm thinking about in the eight second range but uh, let me know, guys, what you think. Oh, that's the same guy. I got in front of the same guy. But uh, all right, guys, let me know what you think of this Nissan Frontier. I like it. I like the new third generation. It feels much, much better, a much better truck. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, start wrapping this up in this 2022 Nissan Frontier. 
And the brakes, oh yeah, we got some good ones. Oh yeah, this is no handling car, but it does actually does go pretty well. It's kind of fun to drive, to be honest, <laughs> it's a truck. All right, guys, there we go, guys. In conclusion, great truck. For this, they're asking about $30,000, $39,000. I'll put the uh, price for you guys uh, again. Big thank you to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Nissan Titan. Now, this is part of their used car inventory. As I mentioned, you guys, I don't work for Barto Ford. They're just very kind and from to lend me these cars for review. Uh, Trade them up, guys. I put all their information up. This is still available. It's a good truck, $39,000. It's not a bad considering all the truck you get. V6, off-road suspension, a good size, four seats, five-foot bed, and, uh, you know, HD lights. I want to turn those off before I forget. And uh, But uh, overall, a great truck. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.